how can a PhD become a billionaire? Well, that's the exact question somebody asked me recently. And this reminded me of one of the videos which I did two, th two three months ago on entrepreneurship. And the moment I say entrepreneurship, many people will be like, oh, no, 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 that's not something I meant. Well, hold on a second. Let me tell you why you should pursue entrepreneurship after your PhD. Now, truth be told, there has to be a very clear cut way of making money for you. Okay. And entrepreneurship provides that. I've done it. So I'm telling you it's possible. I have started and shut down more than, I think, 15 to 20 different biotech companies, which never went mainstream because I found Biotechnica doing better than them. That's the reason I'm telling you, but they were really powerful ideas. And today, let me tell you this, that as a PhD, you have in-depth ideas. Okay. So you have done a specialization in one particular topic. So that's one trait you have already got that you have a specialization on that particular topic which others don't like 99% other people won't have that specialization. Now, all you have to do is think about how would you commercialize it. And the best way to learn how to commercialize your research is talking to any entrepreneur. Okay. For that matter, a biotech entrepreneur. You can talk to me. I'm always available. My email ID is shaker at biotechnical.org. You can always reach out to me or on LinkedIn as well. But the first point is very powerful and important. That is, you already have the specialization for, for that particular unit or topic. Now, if you have this specialization, what stops you from becoming an entrepreneur? Is it just because uh, it's full of entrepreneurship is full of hurdles? Let me ask you a question. Don't you think PhD, your journey of PhD itself was full of hurdles, right? See, you did a professional degree course. You did a MSc or BSc in biosciences, MSc in biosciences. Now you did a PhD. If you have a very clear roadmap of your future, only then you can get to your future, right? And this roadmap should lead to ultimately money because that is why you pursued this professional degree, right? So on one hand, if there are lesser companies in India, why don't you start a simple biotech company, right? It could be on anything. It could be on hygiene, bio waste, nutrition, global warming, anything of your choice, anything which is your specialization in your PhD. Think, how can I apply this in commercializing this topic or this technology? If you are out of ideas, go to a CSIR lab or get the list of CSIR technologies, which CSIR has made it public and is ready to, you know, um, sell it to you, buy that and use it. But at any point in time, I personally firmly believe that every biotech PhD, okay, including you or MSc, if you are not a PhD, still start thinking in your master's, that's the best time to think. You can become a billionaire scientist, just like Dyson. But for that to happen, you have to start early. Because this earlier you start, the better leverage you have. If you wait for three years, okay, job karenge, then I'll gain, gain some experience and then I'll go for it. You know, you lose golden years because every year newer breakthroughs are coming. Either you can be a audience of that breakthrough or you can be that breakthrough, right? I personally believe I should be that breakthrough, right? So, and the reason I'm making this video is I want to invest in your startup. I want to, you know, support you, mentor you, guide you and invest in your startup if your idea is great, right? Because I know that if I have one Biotechnica, I can get to here. If I have thousands of you, then we can get to a bigger picture. We can solve the employment problem which India faces today in the biotech sector. And at the same time, I will be so proud that before I end my life, I would have given 10 or 15 biotech companies to this nation or this globe, this earth, right? So my point to you is do not delay. My point to you is, okay, you don't want to start, you have a vague idea, or if you don't know what to do next, just reach out to me, okay? But please make sure that you mention entrepreneurship in your subject line in your email otherwise i may not re read it or may overlook it of course i read almost every email but sometimes it gets overlooked because of my busy schedule but still my point here is do not delay okay you have a chance to become from a phd to a billionaire all you need is to ask the right questions right 
Here's the question. If you ask a wrong question to Google, do you think Google will give you the right answer? Right? No. The same way you already have passed through years of hard work. Now when the time has come to commercialize this hard work and earn money out of it, you are delaying. You are shying away. What's the point? So in February, we did an entrepreneurship workshop. The recording of that workshop is still there. If in case you want, you can always write to me. I'll give you the recording. Okay. You can always place an order on stores also to uh, buy technical stores to have that recording. Please watch it. You will get so many insights about how Dr. Reddy's was started by a teacher, a professor, or how a simple biotech company, which was processing papain, uh, you know, enzyme became Biocon, right? Samsung was a trading company and they are the Samsung. They have their own army now. Do you know that? So, you know, progress doesn't happen in one day. It just happens by layers, right? So you start by a simple biotech company or a simple life science company and then build layers on the top of it. That could be your future products. As simple as that. And don't wait for investors to invest. You are the biggest investor in your company because you have already invested in your PhD. You already have the knowledge. You already have the expertise. All you do is commercialize. Now, many students wrote to me that, sir, I want to start a diagnostic lab. Do it. Okay. You don't have startup capital. Find out how can you arrange that, right? Don't stop. That's very important. And that is the path to become a billionaire scientist, a billionaire entrepreneur in the biotech sector. And I know you can do this, right? So if you have any questions, write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. If you have any kind of uh, comments, please put them down below. And uh, I want to see that spark which you deserve. All the best. Take care.